Hey, it's Cat at Cattails TV. There's some good news. Jamie Foxx is reported to have spoken out for the first time after being hospitalized for three weeks. I mean, the story is crazy because they used a picture of him in the hospital that I saw on Twitter where it looked like he'd been bruised. And I was like, you know, what is that? What's wrong with his face? And then it turns out, allegedly, they were using a still from They Clone Tyrone, I believe, in the press of, well, let's say the, the meme or whatever you do on Twitter, which is very not cool. I don't, this is really strange because I cloned, or they cloned Tyrone, is about cloning and I don't it's just it opens in June I think the 14th and it's just a little too close for my for my uh, liking but um, change of subject but I just heard of that t earlier so I just wanted to share that with you but getting back to the Tory Lanez case it it's been crazy the supplemental motions dropped yesterday and it's under seal Sorry, the phone's full. <laughs> Whatever. It's under seal, so Megan the regurgitator, cuntive, has been freaking out and complaining about it. But you have to understand, sometimes, it's like a good poker game, sometimes you don't want to show your hand. And because there's been a lot of leaks, and because like TMZ Zero, as I like to call them, they always have spies at all the courthouses. And because Rock Nation is involved in this, they honestly don't know who's who and who's legit and who's not. And speaking of something about who's legit and who's not, it turns out Sean Hawley is a huge Jay-Z fan. That may not be a big deal. I mean, I was kind of a Jay-Z fan. I mean, you know, got 99 problems and uh, a bitch is one. But let me get back to the point. Sean Hawley, her husband is a musician, and I haven't researched if he's worked with Jay-Z or not, but, you know, she's no longer with the case with Tory Lanez, and um, the other guys, like, I like to call him, that stepped in, they were horrible, in my opinion. Sloppy, messy, unprofessional, talking loud in the hallway, Megan the Regurgitator overheard them talking loud posted stuff before Kelsey Harris had actually uh, testified. So, and Tori was found guilty by, I believe, a gaslit, emotionally uh, traumatized jury. And now he's looking for an appeal. So the supplemental motions made the prosecution very irritated, like the first time. Um, and then, you know, Kathy Ta had her hand on her hips talking to the judge, screaming about sentencing. Um, my whole thing is justice sometimes takes time and sometimes it doesn't even come at all. So I find it highly irregular that they're so desperate for sentencing when the DNA didn't match. Tori's DNA is not on the gun and they don't have the gun. It wasn't administered in court as an exhibit, nor the bullets, nor the fragments from Megan the Stallion's foot or feet. Plus the doctor's report seems to be uh, fraudulent because it has misspellings. This case is crazy. And also I went to the location where the incident happened and there's cameras everywhere, but yet there was no video submitted into court as an exhibit and all the other people in the transcript that supposedly called the police. Not supposedly, they did call the police, but they're not shown in the court records. Um, in other words, they didn't testify, okay? There were several people that called the police and, and gave an account of seeing two women fighting, okay? I'm not making this crap up. Street TV has a lot of evidence that he posted as well as Nick at NyQuil, but they didn't look at it. They just, I think, you know what happened? I think the management team, Rock Nation, literally went onto these people's uh, YouTube pages 
and made them feel like they had hits. Because I can't believe all those people were that stupid. You know, there are people who buy uh, a company that's able to boost your uh, popularity on social media. You guys do know that. I hope you do. But sometimes you'll see uh, people with names that have lots of numbers at the end, and normally those are bots. I mean, it's so obvious. It's pathetic. But I can't understand that that many people are that stupid to believe the hearsay as well as the lack of the hard evidence in this case would be a slam dunk in his guilty verdict. I mean, it's circumstantial and it's crap. This case is not solid. But again, the gaslit jury ate that shit up from Kathy Ta and Alexander Bott. <sighs> but this is a bigger question of systematic racism and, and possibly um, suppressed evidence and criminal activity besides the lies, but we don't know how far it goes. We're gonna find out on Monday. And like a good, a good story, sometimes you have to wait and be patient for all the the turns. So yeah, this is Cat of Cattails TV. I'm sure I forgot something. Maybe I'll do another video. I don't know, but I'm at the beach. You know, when you're doing something as stressful as like working other jobs as well as trying to investigate a case and also the other issues you have in life, you know, you have to have self-care. You have to relax because it can be extremely stressful and depressing so you have to balance it out with some jokes and some maybe stretching and some meditation so i will talk to you when i do another video thanks for watching it's cat of cattails to be bye